Are you ready for the last blast of summer? Today, I'm going to be using my cute little die set I got on Etsy, as well as some pattern paper from Stampin' Up! and some more salty beach and ocean related stamps. Stay tuned. Okay, here are all my adorable little sea creatures. And I separated them out a little bit. And I chose these two for this card. And then these two for this card. This is paper from Stampin' Up! It's several years ago now. So I thought it was the perfect time to use it up. If you're planning to go to the beach or the lake or somewhere for Labor Day, this would be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and use this waves embossing folder. And we can do two at a time. All right, I'll be right back. This is Alterations by Tim Holtz. And it does a really nice job. Of making some deep embossing. So there we are. As usual, I'm going to stamp the inside of the card first. And I have several to choose from. I started with my monthly hero kit from 2017. And then it just kind of expanded from there. May your joys be as deep as the ocean. I think that's perfectly appropriate. A nice thinking of you card. And we're going to use Island Indigo. Also from Stampin' Up! a new stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp off somewhere to make sure it's going to be okay. And it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Okay. All right, let's set that aside and start working on our first card. This is five and a quarter by four, so I'm gonna cut down this piece just a little bit more so we can catch some of those waves. Five and a quarter before. Let's do four and three. Whoops. Four and three quarters. By three and a half. I don't want to cut into that crab though. So let's turn it over. Cute. Yes. 
Very cute. School is getting ready to start, but we still have that Labor Day weekend as our little last hurrah of summer. So I hope you all take advantage of it. Okay, we're going to put our cute little animals creatures right there and I'm gonna put a saying here also so let's go ahead and glue those on I did I made these with my shimmer cardstock I will have that link down below I got it on Amazon 12 by 12 pieces gonna be let's put it right to the edge there so I'm gonna try to get off some of that glue although it does dry clear Heaven seems a little closer at the beach. Cute, cute, cute. And it's just about the right size. Should we do a circle? Oh, no, I think that's fine, the way it is. All right, let's cut this down. And I measure it here. Just a little bit here. Or shall we do a punch? Let's look at my punches. figure out I want to put some matting on this one let's go ahead and 
stamp first. Heaven seems a little closer at the beach. There we go. And what shall we use for... regular green. Yeah. Now, I'm going to attach it first, then I'm going to cut around it. Okay, very cute. Let's pop that up, put it right about there. Pop that up on foam dots. Got these from Dollar Tree. They have quite a awesome craft section. Okay, I'm going to save final decoration toward the end, but there's the first card. Let's work on the second one. We've got our piece, matted piece here. And we're going to cut this one down. See all the cute little fish. Love it. Four and three quarters. Beautiful. That's pretty too. So much to choose from. All right. There's that. Now let's go ahead and attach our little sea creatures. Oh, let's attach it to the card first. That would be good. Getting ahead of myself. Cute. 
cute, cute, cute. All right, now let's do our little sea creatures. Got our little crab. I used to have a couple of crabs, uh, freshwater, in the bottom of my aquarium. They were so fun to watch. Then I've got my purple uh, um, jellyfish. I was going to say octopus. No, jellyfish. I did get, I don't know, I didn't think I got stung, but I definitely felt a jellyfish rose at the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, Panama City Beach. I jolted out of that water just as fast as I possibly could. It was crazy. Okay, there's our little jellyfish. And now we're going to go ahead and do this, I think. And I'm gonna make do matting for it. I'm trying to decide what color I want to use. Let's go with this. Now, I'm gonna punch one of these out. And I'm gonna cut it in half. That will make my matting on either side to frame it. Okay. I believe this is, I did, can't remember if it's tranquil, uh, tranquil Tide or Pretty Peacock. It's a beautiful, rich color. This is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to stamp first. So we have, yes, yeah, same thing. Heaven seems a little closer at the beach. My Island Indigo. About like so. Isn't that pretty? All right, voila, I'm gonna pop that up on foam dot, so. Oh, here comes the train. Okay, I think the worst part of that train is over, so. Um, I went ahead and took the release paper off of this while I was waiting on the train. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to decorate with enamel dots.
going to put a few here and you get little bubbles. jellyfish do bubbles, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay. And then big one there. And a smaller one here. Now I was thinking about using these as decoration. Yes, that'll work perfect right down here. Beautiful. Okay. So there is our first card. Well, that's the second one actually so here's the first one let's go with these colors here kind of a marine blue and then we've got these little cream colored ones here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with this. That's not quite long enough, is it? And that goes straight up and down. Let's see. Oh. Not quite long enough. I was wanting to do the opposite. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. There are no rules. There. Okay. Very, very cute. There are my cards for the last splash of summer. I hope you have a wonderful time at the beach or the lake or wherever you plan to go for the last holiday of the summer. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you want to see some more beachy cards, stay tuned and watch this video here. Bye-bye.